Hey everyone, welcome back to another can Terraria bosses survive. Sorry if I sound weird in this video, I do have a little cold. And I know when you talk about having a little cold or being sick during this time, you know, people are like, <gasps> Game Raiders, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, we're here, we're checking out the Axe of the Abyss from Battle Guy's Better Weapons mod. Look at this sprite, it is terrible. And I would not put this sprite in a thumbnail, so I had Pudis, of course, make an artistic recreation of the Axe of the Abyss, and that's what you're gonna see in the thumbnail. Let's get to it, though. Somebody said recently, they're like, Game Raiders, you're in the original world. And when they said that, I'm like, huh? The original world? This has always been the original world. And then I remembered that we did make a whole new world for Cantuary Bosses Survives. And I guess just like instinct brought, brought me back to this world. Like I can't leave this world. We will go back to the new world eventually, but you know, I, I'm just here for now. But yeah, I guess I should probably show off what the weapon does. Look at that, negative numbers, beautiful. You'll love to see it. Look at the stats on it. With this much power, it can shatter whole multiverses. The falling weapon will not do damage. If any accessory buffs armor or any other damage increase items are equipped on the user. Cheat item can kill super dummies. Thank you for telling me all that. Uh, can I let, let's spawn in a super dummy? Is that something I spawn in like this? Yes. Super dummy dead. That dummy really is a dummy because he's looking the wrong way. Has he always been looking the wrong way? But yeah. Let's get to it. Let's spawn in the King Slime again. Boom. Dead. And let, let's just start ripping through these bosses. But yeah, again, I do have a little cold. I will sound weird. I remember I read a comment on this other video where I was just like perfectly normal. Maybe it's because I woke up early in the morning. Or not early in the morning. But I usually wake up and record videos. So, you know, I still got that waking up voice. And some dude said, for the love of God, please blow your nose. And I had to break it to him. I said, bro, that's just how I sound. <laughs> There's nothing I can do there. You hate to see it. Brain of Cthulhu. Let's beat the brain's ass. Perfect. You know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to just summon the worm here. I might as well. But yeah, I usually never get sick. Like, I have a pretty goddamn good immune system. So for me to get like a cold or something, you really know something snuck into my immune system. Because like, I legit have not been sick since, you know, the vid started. The vid 20. Don't want to say anything else. Might get demonetized. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, that might already happen. But like, yeah, legit, right before lockdown happened was the last time I got sick. And I was, I felt like doo-doo dog shit when I got sick when that happened. I was sick for like the first like three, four days of lockdown. Or not, nah, it was like before that. And then in started going into lockdown. But yeah, it's because, uh, you know, my immune system, I got a little secret. It's because I drank the uh, pirate water at Disneyland. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Just got a nice bottle filled with the water at the pirates ride and took a nice sip. Made my immune system stronger. All right, let's write the wall flesh. Get them out of here. We're already on the hard mode bosses. Now, I usually have the wiki up just so I don't miss any bosses, but come on. I've done it so many times. There's no way that I miss a boss, right? There's no way. I'm at the point where I, I should fight every boss, no problem. Remembering all of them. Duke, sure, I'll fight the Duke here. He was kind of invisible for a second. Then let's let's go over here, and then let's bring in the mini bosses. Okay, this this might get a little bit harder to remember all the mini bosses, or uh, quote unquote mini bosses. There's the Dutchman, and then let's do Old One's Army. Boom. I can remember the Old One's Army. Easy, easy. Betsy, of course. And then let's do event by event. Like, let's bring in the Martian Saucer. Make sure I bring in the core, of course. And then now, let's fight the uh, the Halloween and non-Halloween event. I don't know why I said non-Halloween. Uh, Christmas event. Ugliest Pirate in Terraria. Ice Queen right there. There you go. Let's bring in the Scream and the, the Morning Wood. Kill them together. It's like Romeo and Juliet. They gotta die together. And then let's bring in the Pump King. Now, honestly, I kind of did that in a weird order. I probably should have did Halloween with Halloween and then Christmas with Christmas, but instead I was going like back and forth. Okay, let's not forget Akram. Akram is a part of this. You're a part of the Terraria family. Oh, he's doing the thing where he pauses my game. Oh, he died finally. You know, as much as uh, Relogic doesn't want Akram, Turker, and Lepus to be part of the family, I still accept them. <laughs> Let's fight the Dungeon Guardian before we fight the boys. Let's go ahead. Let's switch it up here. Let's bring him in. What's up, bro? Will you die? Oh, look at that. He actually died. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's jump to the boys, though. What is up, boys? I'll be seeing you next time. I think at this point, they enjoy it because they do always come back. Yeah, there you go. Cult is dead. Let's get to destroying the pillars. Uh, this weapon actually does have some range to it. 
so that's good to know. You know, I can hit from a decent length away. Uh, I don't know if it goes through walls. Does it go through walls? Ooh, it does. Nice. All right. With that stuff done, let's go ahead and let's fight Abyssion. Uh, bring in all three forms, of course. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He lagging the game. Abyssion, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> the game is literally going in slow-mo right now. Whatever he did, he was trying to break the game. So I'll summon in more and try and get them to break it. <laughs> now they're all dead. I killed them before they could break it anymore. Hey, Moon Lord, what's up, my bro? Let's go ahead and let's get him out of here. And Moon Lord dead. Let's go ahead and let's bring these three in. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, killed both of those guys with one attack. Let me go ahead and fight the mutant next. Should be a faster episode. You know, I feel like with really strong weapons, episodes should go by fast. But it depends if I have something to talk about, like my immune system. That's what I was talking about in this episode. <laughs> All right, let's bring in uh, Providence. Uh, remembering to fight Providence, of course, of course. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight Yarn now. That's crazy. I know. We're switching up the order. It's crazy. But honestly, I feel like it makes more sense. And then we fight Dog. And I'm going to be honest. If you guys know how I test weapons, you know that I fight Dog 99% of the time to test the weapon. So, I already knew the outcome of this. He wasn't going to die. Maybe if I could get like a single tap. Nah, I think it just does too much damage for him to die. Understandable. Let, uh, let us go ahead and kill him with a different weapon. But maybe we could kill his phase too. Maybe we could kill his phase too. Let's see. Absolutely not. What was I thinking? All right, dog, you survived. Congratulations to you, okay? Good for you, bro. Go brag about it. Uh, we might as well fight Supreme Cow. We'll do it like over here, bro. Might as well. Uh, I have a feeling that she is probably gonna live. Maybe I could kill Sepulcher though. Let's see. Sepulcher's taking damage. Hold up. Hold up. Nah. Nah. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say. But well, hold up, maybe we gotta break the hearts too? Even though I think killing Sepulchre should be able to do straight up damage. Nah, okay, okay. Supreme Cal, you live in this time too. You gotta make me leave the damn world though. All right, let's fight that boy Draydon. Uh, let me go somewhere somewhat safe. At least away from our, you know, Olympic winner over there. All right, I think I'm gonna just summon in the bosses straight up. Oh, he going fast as hell. <laughs> Does he always move that fast? Whatever, kill him. Can I kill him? Uh-oh. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. And I'm aiming for the parts that are open, too. This guy is really loud. I don't know what's up with him being loud as hell. Let's, uh... Let's, let's bring in Ares. Maybe I can kill Ares? No? Okay, what about, what about Apollo and Artemis? No? That's fine. Okay. I gotta leave the world again. <laughs> I remember I read a comment recently and the person was like, gamers, you should kill bosses from this mod too. And the mod didn't even have any like special bosses that would like possibly withstand taking a one hit or something. It just had bosses in it. Just regular ass bosses in it. <laughs> all right, let's bring in the Eidolon Worm. As we all know, the Eidolon Worm has fallen from greatness uh, after the update. It is no longer that beast of a boss, quote unquote boss. Well, it's, I, I think it's an actual boss now. A lot of people think that I'm spawning in the kid version. As you can see, the kid version is way smaller. Also, doesn't have a health bar. So, come on. Get it right. Gamer is always right. Come on. Never wrong. But look at this. It's not taking any damage. Those damage caps and calamity are really going hard today. Uh, I don't want to have to leave the world again, so I'm going to kill him with the tome, which is possible now. The tome used to not be able to kill that Eidolon Worm, or that version of Eidolon Worm. It could kill the baby one. It was never able to kill the adult one. So that's how you know that update really changed things. But yeah, let us bring in our finalists here. That being the Ugandan Knuckles, Bill Cipher, and we have a new person joining the list. Just kidding. Maybe in the future. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should look for some new contenders. Now, I, I know people always wanted to see Binos, but I don't know what mod Binos is a part of. I've installed every mod that people told me he's a part of. I cannot find them. And also, that mod also breaks my game when I install it, too. Uh-oh. Might have to repair this in the future. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to fighting this guy. Bill, my boy. It's still going? It's still breaking stuff? Bill. I have a feeling this weapon is going to beat both Bill and the Ugandan Knuckles. I just have a feeling. Let's see, though. You never know. I'm going to just start firing. Come on. Come on. What? They had to buff the Ugandan Knuckles, bro. They had to. 
That dude is built different now. And my game is lagging like crazy when I fight him. I gotta get out of here. The Ugandan Knuckles has changed, man. I think he might be better than Act Death at this point. See, when my Terraria lags, I never know if it's like a mod doing the lag or if it's this world because this world is so janky. But yes, it's time to take on Act Death. Let's do it. Act Death, how you doing today? Oh, whoa. An Act Death kill? It's so crazy how we got into the point where we can't kill Ugandan Knuckles, but we could kill multiple Act Deaths. Like, what? Well, I gotta start doing Ugandan Knuckles as the last boss now. That's crazy. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave weapon suggestions for future videos, maybe even boss suggestions. I'm talking about bosses that you think would be able to withstand and hang with the other ones in this. Make sure to follow the Twitter, the Twitch, the TikTok, the Instagram. Subscribe to the second channel, especially if you miss streams. There's probably gonna barely be any streams on the second channel because I literally posted almost every single stream that I have. There might be a couple, but they're missing some parts and I kind of don't want to post them if they're missing parts. They're older streams too. And I'm also gonna be gone for two weeks. So like, it's gonna be tough. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time.